Hello everybody, another day in the shop working on the, the 4020. We got uh, five inches of snow this morning and it's been snowing most of the day and they're saying maybe another five inches of snow tonight and maybe a couple more tomorrow. So it isn't system snow, it's just a, the lake effect snow. So most other people don't, don't get it around the, around the state. A few of them do along the shore, but not very many. So we might end up getting a... Uh, now they're saying maybe 12 inches, but it's the powder. It's not good snowmobile snow. But maybe after 12 inches and they pack it down, it'll help. It'll help, but it won't be perfect like a heavy, wet snow. And uh, the, the powerful snowmobiles with the studs, that they, they, they spin that. They burn out and spin that snow out of them trails so fast. But still, it's fun. I, I uh, got some, a lot of fun memories on the, the old skidoos we had. So, uh, okay, so now today's progress, I did pretty good. Go back up here and go back to the bench. And uh, first thing I'm going to show you is Nicole's little uh, Glow Forge project. Today she sent us these in the mail in their coasters. And the little Glow Forge cuts them out just so delicate and fine. And uh, I, we just, Deb loves them. She makes Deb some earrings and stuff. So once Nicole gets the hang of it, we're going to, uh, she's going to kind of show people how to kind of use the Glow Forge and maybe give them tips. And because uh, that's getting to be a very popular uh, craft machine and it does such a good job. So we, um, Nicole has a site and it's called HelloFairyTale.com. So any of you crafters or your your maybe your wives would want to learn how to do this kind of stuff and maybe they, they want to eventually buy one of these glow forges. They 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 come in different prices. They start out pretty reasonable, but then they it's like anything. The more you spend, the better the better it is. So so anyway, it's, um, she doesn't she hasn't done had it long enough yet to really I don't know share a lot yet, but she's she's getting better at it all the time. She made. She's made some very cool stuff with for my little dozer and for my here yeah right there yeah. you can see the kind of see the detail right down to the little arrows on there it's just beautiful and so that's just a and she does she does so many things she, right now she's doing something that looks like stained glass with it and it's just awesome so okay so oh this morning when I was doing the snow blowing I wanted to tell maybe some of you who have the little the little um, X758 diesel like mine. I've seen it on the internet where people are complaining that they they bog down and lose power. Well, mine did that. Mine has done that since the day I got it. And uh, not it's not it's never quit or anything. And it's never been more than just a couple of seconds that you lost power a little bit or you, or you lost RPMs. And people are on the internet trying to help each other and they're spending money on the filters and so many electrical and so many things. And uh, um, finally, what it in, and they say, oh, loosen your fuel cap. Maybe your fuel cap's too tight, or there's a suction in there. But what it ended up being was, um, I saw where a guy said, um, what it was was his gas gauge isn't any good. The gas gauge shows it's on full, and it maybe only has a quarter of a tank. And so as the fuel gets down, it, and you're moving around it gets air in there and that air comes through the line and then it, you lose your rpm so so what i've done the last the last few storms is i every time i'm done using the tractor i fuel it back up right up to the top and uh so far it hasn't it hasn't bogged down once so i'm thinking i'm thinking if you you if you tried any everything else or if you haven't tried anything else, but it's annoying to you, which it is annoying and you're worried it's going to quit right out in the road, just fuel it up every time and see if that isn't the problem. Because if the gas gauge says full and you only got a quarter of a tank, um, that's not that's not good. So I, and that, I'm sure that was my problem because I, it hasn't done it once since I fueled it up. So, okay, so there's that. And uh, we're supposed to get five more inches of snow tonight. And so, and then let's see the... Um, do, 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 do. I think that's it on there. Oh, oh, Deb wanted to know um, if anybody wanted to know how we're doing our weight. <laughs> I never did. And so you can see that we um, we do the yo-yo diet. I think I mentioned that before. And right now we're at yo, 
like whoa yo so this is that time of year when we gain a couple pounds how many uh 10 <laughs> 12 i don't know um but anyway it's, we have it. no regrets it's fun deb makes makes uh cookies and she makes muffins and it's fun it's just fun we have no regrets our life's almost our life's winding down so what the heck if, who cares <laughs> Just have fun every day, you know. That's just one more thing that people worry about. Is even skinny people worry about how they look. So just enjoy, enjoy life, everybody. Just enjoy today. So anyway, bam, that was that. Okay, so now we're at the tractor, and I'm very, very happy today about how it's going. So I got the dash tack on. I got the console, side console levers on, built. I got the seat attached to the to the main base down there, and I'm just working on the floor, the floorboard, and the battery box right now. And if you come around to the back, you can see I've actually worked on. I built this housing here that goes over the hydraulics, and I've actually worked more on the rear, the rear axle, and the putting bolts in there, and and so I'm very tickled. And the the little levers here move on the side. I love them. Right there, and so that's going to be very cool. So all the little levers move, and so you can kind of see it's taking taking a little bit of shape. So tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the like three point hitch, the three point hitch, and I'm going to put a shaft going across in the front up here, and then that will that will come back to some the, the lift arms, and then those lift arms will go down to the linkages, and then the lower the lower three-point hitch arms will come off of the bottom here on both sides. <clears throat> so those arms will lift the linkages there and lift the two big arms here. So that's kind of how it works. And uh, so that will all that will all work up and down. And then it will get a gearbox down here for the three-point. Uh, I mean the PTO. And then it will get a get some. It'll get some <clears throat> pieces that go up in here, and it'll get your It'll get your uh, hydraulic outlets right here. That will get two. There's two on each side right there, and then your third link hooks up in here. I haven't really. I'm not exactly sure yet. I got to look more into it. I'm just kind of guessing right now. But yeah. so that'll be that. But you can slowly see it starting to look like a like a the 4020s look. So very happy. The the floor and the battery. Then I got to box this all in in the front, and then you can see on the on the toy, the floorboard how it curves up right there for your feet, and then the battery box right down there, the battery box cover. And then this is all boxed in right here, and uh, I still so right in front of the battery box here, you can see where that frame is cut and it goes in farther. So right there is where that that'll have to be eventually trimmed. And you gotta, I'm not sure what this lever here was for. I don't know if that was what kicked in the, that might be the PTO, what kicks in the PTO right there. Then you got the clutch pedal on this side. So I'm actually, actually by the weekend, by the weekend, the back of this should be roughed in. So tomorrow's Wednesday. So I'll build the, there's the PTO, and then the, the the shield that goes over that, and then there's look like a little side shaft here on there. I can't really. And then oh, there's the third link right there. So that I'll build that in there, and then I'll build this this linkage here. And so there's and then you got your drawbar, and I'll have that so it moves side to side. And uh, so there's quite a bit of detail down in there. And then I'll I'll work more on the axle on uh, down there. So so if we flip him upside down, you can kind of see how how it looks down there. This drawbar don't it looks like it's no I guess it don't move side to side. That's fine. So then you can see some some filters down here and some little doodads down here on this side 
And then over on this side, you can see it looks almost the same on that floorboard. It's the same battery box shields and the frames cut right there. So this is kind of the first time I'm really looking under there. I all, when I build a model, I usually just take it one step at a time. Otherwise, it would be kind of overwhelming to me. So even though I kind of, even though I kind of know roughly what what the length and the width and everything, I still don't get too involved in like the front axle. I got an idea how it looks, but I'm not even worried about it. The engines, the engine, I'm not worried about. I'm not even worried about how the hood, the final look of the hood, because I know I got it. I get it. I got it kind of close, but the dash, I'm very happy with the dash. How that turned out. I'm very happy with this side, this side uh, console, and I'm very happy how the seat looks. It's still all, it's still all rough in, and, and it's just like I say, it's not, I'm not an engineer, it's just art. It's my metal art, so. Okay, everybody, it's uh, not snowing right now, but it was. Okay, so, if uh, eventually maybe your, your wife's, want to uh, look into this. Nicole Nicole loves the Glowforge and she's gonna, once she gets a little bit better at it, she's gonna show people how to do it and and that'll be fun for her to uh, give people ideas of things she's doing. She, gets, she's, she does a lot of stuff in her little, little art room. She's got her little shop just like her dad. She loves to putter and uh, so she's trying a bunch of different stuff so just the little coasters are awesome. So, okay, everybody, we'll catch you tomorrow night and more progress. I'm excited to build the plow for this, too. And some of you were asking, I mentioned a couple times that I'm going to make the 60-30. This is the 40-20. This is the and uh, I got a, I got the 60-30 tractor at Precision here already, too. And uh, so I'm going to, after I build this, and the plow, then I'm going to start on the uh, the 6030, and I'm going to build that and a plow for that one too. So, so that'll keep me busy till spring to uh, just build these two big John Deere's. And I'm uh, I'm debating even on building a maybe a, a 530, because uh, that's what I grew up on. We had we didn't have 6030s on the farm, but we had we had. Uh, a H, a D, a B, the 530, then a, a 30, 30, 20, then 40, 10, and a couple of 40, 20s. And so these, but the, the 40, 10s and the 40, 20s is what I drove most of the time. And so these mean a lot to me. So, okay, got to go. Have a nice evening, everybody. Thanks for the nice comments. See ya.